December 2016. This is Sylvia Shrimurthy and you are listening to the newspaper reviews on www.adwineng.com. Let's now look at the paper highlights from today's newspapers. The top highlight in daily news says, Cabinet not for development bill. The cabinet has approved the development bill on Tuesday, government sources said. The Cabinet Subcommittee on Economic Management headed by Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe endorsed the bill before the cabinet approval. There's another highlight which says, Current LG poll system a fraud, says Bima. The present local government election system is a fraud perpetrated by the Mahinda Rajapaksha regime through the 18th Amendment to the Constitution. It is a dictatorial, unfair, unsuccessful and impractical system, JVP parliamentarian Bima Ratnayaka said. The highlight in the middle says, Cabinet OK for solar park in Siambalandu. The Cabinet has granted approval to perform a feasibility study for a construction of a solar park with 100 MW in Siambalandu, Munragala. And the highlight at the bottom says, Prosecution evidence in Raviraj murder case concluded. The Colombo High Court Special Jury hearing the Raviraj murder case yesterday concluded the prosecution evidence. Accordingly, the defense will have an opportunity to call its witnesses when the case resumes today. Let's now move to the paper highlights in Daily Mirror. The main highlight says, Government to set up development zone in Trinco with India's assistance. Along with the development of Hamban Tata and assistance from China, the government is to implement a development program on similar lines in Trincomalee, including the operation of the port there with India's assistance, a minister said yesterday. Another highlight says, All SLFP CMs to protest, says Deva Priya. Western Province Chief Minister Isura Deva Priya yesterday said that all chief ministers of the SLFP will protest against the development bill as the bill proposes to snatch from chief ministers certain powers western in them under the constitution. The highlight in the middle says, FB under government threat, says joint opposition. The joint opposition yesterday charged the news forecasting and social media websites including the Facebook were under threat by several government wigwigs due to their necessity to ban those websites in Sri Lanka. And the highlight at the bottom says, Woman attempts suicide in Matara. A woman who tried to drown herself in the Nilavala River at Matara as she did not have money to buy school books and instruments for her children was saved by OIC of the Matara Division of the Police Child and Women's Bureau. And now let's move to the paper highlights in Ceylon today. The top highlight says, China gives clear warning, no military operations in Hamban Tata. The government has specifically informed China that the Hamban Tata port cannot be used for military operations after leasing Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade Malik Samarvi Krama said yesterday. The highlight in the middle says, Ratna Siri hospitalized. Former Prime Minister Ratna Siri Vikramanayaka has been hospitalized with respiratory problems, his son MP Vidra Vikramanayaka said. He has been hospitalized for the past five weeks but was readmitted shortly after being discharged due to breathing issues. And the highlight at the bottom says, Joint Opposition Freaking Out at Super Ministers, says Mali. The main objective of the development bill published in the Government Gazette recently is that of attracting more foreign direct investments. Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade, Malik Samar Vikrama said yesterday. That's all for today's newspaper highlights and we'll get back to you with more news tomorrow. Thank you.